What if a computer could play a game so smartly it feels like telepathy? That's not science fiction anymore. It's quantum fact. A groundbreaking experiment by the University of Colorado Boulder, in partnership with Quantinuum, has brought quantum pseudo-telepathy into reality using a laser-controlled quantum computer. This wasn't just a flashy trick, it's a milestone proving that error-resistant, scalable quantum computing is no longer a distant dream. Through a deceptively simple logic game, researchers showed that quantum entanglement can give small-scale quantum machines a winning edge over classical strategies. In this video, we will understand how they did it, and why this matters more than you might think. The heart of the experiment was a quantum game inspired by physicist David Merman's work in the 1990s. The game's rules are simple. Players must fill in a grid with zeros and ones based on questions, trying to achieve a specific mathematical pattern. But there's a catch. They can't communicate during the game. Under classical rules, no matter how clever their prearranged strategy is, players can't guarantee a win every time. But introduce quantum entanglement, where particles remain so deeply connected that the state of one instantly affects the other. And suddenly, it feels like the players are reading each other's minds. This eerie phenomenon is what physicists call quantum pseudotelepathy. To test it, researchers used the Quantinuum system Model H1, a quantum computer that manipulates interbeam ions with lasers. These ions act as qubits, quantum bits that can represent both zero and one at once, thanks to quantum superposition. In this setup, it's like playing checkers with pieces that exist in multiple positions simultaneously. The system delivered astonishing results. Even under noisy conditions and with added players, the quantum setup achieved a win rate of over 95%. In contrast, classical systems couldn't even come close. As co-author Rahul Nankishore put it, this isn't just a lab trick, it's solid evidence that quantum devices can already outperform the best available classical strategy. The most impressive part wasn't just the success rate, it was how the system stayed stable. Instead of linking just a few qubits, the researchers built an entire topological structure of entangled qubits. Imagine a network of tiny interwoven knots, complex enough that even if you tug on one part, the whole pattern holds together. This topological phase of matter makes quantum states less vulnerable to errors. In normal setups, even the tiniest disturbance, a bit of heat or light, can collapse a quantum state. But the H1 device maintained coherence because the structure itself was designed to resist unraveling. David Stephen from Quantinuum noted that while the experiment matched theoretical predictions, the fact that it worked under real-world conditions is the real victory. We're not just simulating quantum ideas anymore, we're physically building them. Even with only 20 qubits, the system's layout made all the difference. In quantum computing, quality matters more than quantity. Coordinated, stable entanglement like this opens the door to practical, fault-tolerant quantum devices that can be scaled up without introducing chaos. This experiment wasn't just about playing a clever logic game. It was a live demonstration of just how far quantum machines have come, and how ready they are to tackle real-world challenges. It proved something critical. Quantum systems can now perform reliably, even when faced with noisy, imperfect conditions. The kind we see outside a lab. Why is that such a big deal? Because quantum computers work very differently from the ones we use today. Instead of crunching data one possibility at a time, they explore massive combinations of outcomes all at once, thanks to quantum properties like superposition and entanglement. That makes them perfect for solving incredibly complex problems, like simulating new molecules for drug discovery, optimizing supply chains that span the globe, or modeling chaotic systems like weather patterns or financial markets. But there's a catch. As you add more qubits, the quantum version of bits, most systems become unstable. The more you scale, 
the more fragile they get. That's been one of the biggest barriers in the field. But this experiment took a clever route around that obstacle. By using a topological structure, think of it like a tightly woven net of qubits. The system held strong even when small disruptions were introduced. Instead of falling apart, the qubit stayed in sync, like a team working perfectly in rhythm, even under pressure. And this isn't an isolated achievement. It's part of a growing wave of breakthroughs pushing quantum computing from theoretical promise to practical power. Google's Sycamore processor turned heads in 2019 when it performed a calculation in just 200 seconds, a task so complex it would take the world's fastest classical supercomputer 10,000 years to replicate. That moment marked the first serious claim of quantum supremacy where a quantum machine does something no classical system can match. China's Zhujiang quantum system took a different route. Instead of using traditional qubits, it relied on photons, particles of light, to solve a deeply complex problem called boson sampling. It showcased a whole new branch of quantum hardware with exponential speedups. Then came IBM's Eagle processor, introduced in 2024. This machine crossed the 100 qubit milestone, but more importantly, maintained the stability and connectivity necessary for real computation. It wasn't just about having more qubits, it was about keeping them reliable and coherent, which is the key to building usable systems. Put together, these breakthroughs form a powerful trend. We're no longer talking about isolated lab tests or hypothetical concepts we're seeing the rise of a quantum ecosystem, different platforms, architectures, and countries all pushing toward the same goal, building quantum computers that are fast, reliable, and scalable. Of course, challenges still remain. We need more qubits, better error correction, and smarter integration with traditional computing systems. But make no mistake, this latest experiment is more than a technical achievement. It's a proof of concept for the future, a sign that the foundation of the quantum era is already here and we're now building on it. Thanks for watching. If this sparked your interest in quantum computing, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the science shaping our future.